Hey guys, on to today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update your iPad to iOS 10. So this is actually the same method to do it on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Doesn't matter what, what you have, you have to have the same steps. Anyways, uh, let's do this. So going through settings, and uh, before we get into our software update, make a backup, okay? So do it on your iCloud. If you guys have no space on your iCloud, don't worry, okay? To make a backup on your iCloud, just go down here. It says iCloud. You guys can go there and back it up yourselves. And I suggest doing that for sure. A lot of things happen when you're doing this and um, you might have to restore it so you guys won't lose any information. Make that backup. If you guys have no more space, um, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. You guys can always go hook it up to your computer using iTunes. That's uh, free for PC or Mac. You guys can back up your iPad, iPad Touch, okay? So that doesn't matter what you guys have, you can back it up, and there you don't have to worry about space, okay? So, uh, once we're here in settings, just go into general. Once you guys are in general, you guys will see the second option where it says software update. So let's just tap right there. It's gonna look for the software, okay? So the first thing that you guys are gonna do is download, okay? So just click on download, and you have to click on agree. Agree again. And then it's gonna start downloading. So once it's done downloading, it will update your iPad, okay? You guys will have to install uh, the iOS 10. So there's two steps to it. However, this will do it by itself. So what you guys need is at least 50% of your battery. I don't recommend having it just at 50%. I recommend actually hooking it up to some electricity. Even if you're at 100%, I know some of you, your batteries are dying. So again, hook it up to some electricity. So whether it's your computer, or just your wall charger do that when it's doing this update you do not want this to die when it's installing iOS 10 it's a huge update so um, again and make sure to do that backup that I'm telling you about because even if you do everything right something might go wrong and you will have to restore your iPad or iPod touch if something went wrong okay that means when you restore it means you're erasing everything from within okay uh, however, if you made that backup, you can load everything back up again. Okay, that includes your photos, videos, everything, your apps. If you're playing a game, that probably got backed up in your iCloud uh, as well as iTunes. Could have backed it up, so you guys won't lose that, so don't worry about that. However, um, again, it's a big update, so do that. Uh, this shouldn't take more than 15 minutes, it, although it's a huge update and it's gonna do a lot of things. You guys do want those 15 minutes at least. If you have slower internet, it might take up to 30 minutes. If you're stuck there, it's not doing anything for an hour, then you might have to restore it again. If you guys see after the update or the update by itself, which I never recommend having that on, um, I recommend you guys doing your own updates, um, then what you guys might have to do is restore again. Okay, you guys might see that icon, that iTunes logo. Um, that means you guys probably have to restore it. Anyways, if everything went right, then what you guys will see is an Apple logo, a loading bar, okay, later on, black screen, loading bar, with an Apple logo, it's gonna load twice, and then that's it. You guys just have to put in your password to get into your iPad, I put up a touch, and that's it. Um, you guys will see a couple of different things that have happened in iOS 10. Um, especially with 3D Touch, I do like some features that they did. But anyways, you guys will have fun with it. iOS 10 has some really, really good things going on for it. Um, however, for those of you who do not, who need actually their iPhone or iPad for professional purposes, do not update it, okay? There's always glitches, and there might seem to be some major ones, okay? So wait until 10.1 comes out, and that will fix those issues. So if you guys do use your iPad for professional purposes, do not update it, okay? Uh, most apps, actually all apps, will work with iOS 10, so I wouldn't worry about that. But um, some apps that are working with your computer, together with your computer, those are the ones that might not work properly, okay? And again, if you use it for professional purposes, don't update it yet. Wait until the next version comes out, which is 10.1, okay? Um, iOS 10 is great, 
but there are glitches like any major update with Apple. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.